from a demon who will enter your head and falsely make you change all your beliefs, to a demon who will possess your entire body and make you do nasty, really horrible things. Today on Factspace, we look at types of demons. As this video is based on different types of demons individually and what their specialty twistedness is, I'm going to keep it brief of what a demon is. It's a subject that is so wide it could easily make topics of other videos. There are many different lists and even subcategories over demons that vary over the centuries gone by. This is down to demons being involved in different religions, folklore, mythology, and literature. A demon is basically a fallen angel. One of God's top angels, Lucifer, started a rebellion after falling out with God. Other angels that joined Lucifer in a rebellion that failed were then banished from heaven forever. These now fallen angels became demons, with the head demon being Lucifer, who then became known as Satan. Yes, he can also be known as a certain demon you may have heard of whose name is the Devil. Some may agree, some may not. Each demon is a specialist in a certain field, sometimes multiple fields. They still rebel against God by possessing mankind in their twisted ways and cause as much mayhem and misery as they can. They usually attack when the victims are at their weakest. There are hundreds of demons, so I can't include them all, but I have included some of the more twisted ones, so let's take a look at what demons can do to you. We'll start with a really badass demon that some of you will have heard of. His name is Pazuzu. Pazuzu is a demonic god and is big in the demonic underworld. He is the controller of the disastrous winds, droughts, and famines, even responsible for the big locust invasions that cause people harm, ruin, and sometimes death. Remember the movie The Exorcist, where that girl became possessed by a nasty demon? Well, that demon was Pazuzu, who was obviously taking a break from changing the weather for the worse. He is from the ancient Mesopotamian region. With his dog-like face, he stands with his left arm down and right arm up, connected to talons. Then there is a slightly better side to Pazuzu. There is a demon goddess who is called Lamashtu. This twisted demon preys on the newborns and even the unborn. Pazuzu regularly protects the young from her twisted demonic ways. Our next lusty demons are Succubus and Incubus. Both are Leland demons. A Leland demon is a nasty spirit who preys on men and women sexually while they sleep. Firstly, you have Succubus. She is the female that will attack men as they sleep. The male demon is called Incubus, who attacks women while they sleep. Both are supernatural demons and will give you mental deterioration or even death if too many encounters happen. They are said to look attractive, but can also show their true figures in between, with feet like bird claws or horrible wrinkly fingers and nails fit only for a demon. The actual demon whose specialty in lust is Asmodeus. He twists people's sexual appetites, and after years in hell, he's said to actually be on Earth. Moving on and next out of her demonic horror bag collection is Zozo. This is the demon that you'll be trying to contact when using a Ouija board. No one is quite sure what Zozo is, although there are reports of a mystic named Zozo who stole his wife's soul about a century ago. This demon can also go under the same name as the demon Abacus, who is also a Ouija board presence. Zozo is said to bring on depression, bad luck, and suicidal thoughts, and is full of extremely bad things and negativity. To go with the negativity, be wary of Zozo using names like Zaza, Oz, and Mama, especially if you feel bad and the planchette moves in a figure eight. Next up is Agarus. This demon is a Grand Duke of Hell. He shows himself as an old man who sits upon a crocodile-type creature while having a hawk on his fist. He has great importance in the demon world as he controls 31 legions. Any deserters that flee, he will make them return. He is also a master of earthquakes, teaching languages, and granting titles within his legions. Our next demon is called Asag and is a monster, a real horrible demon. His presence is so disturbing that fish will automatically start to boil alive if he is near a river. He's from Sumerian mythology. If he was to come into contact with you, he will fill you full of head fevers that will be guaranteed to kill you and give you a slow, painful death. He is also a constructor of mountains. This demon should need no introduction, as he is up there, or down there I should say, with the biggest of demons. This demon is called Beelzebub, which means Lord of the Flies. 
He was involved with the original crowd of rebellious fallen angels and is just below Lucifer. This greedy demon is the master of gluttony, so if you want to have your cake and eat it too, he's the man to see. He's the demon that'll make you want more, even if you have more than enough of anything possible. Too much greed can only lead to bad things, and that's what he will want. The main demon that started the whole rebellion and the leader in turning against heaven was Lucifer. Once known as the Morning Star, he was also second to Mr. Big himself, God. After losing a rebellion and becoming a fallen angel, he then became known as Satan and the Devil. Lucifer had a baby-like face, although that all changed when he became you-know-who, turned red, and then became a menace to everything created by God. One demon who was just below Lucifer and is certainly not one to be messed with is Leviathan. He was a huge sea demon and is the demon of envy. Leviathan can also cause havoc by eating God's creatures. There were three in all that parted, the most well-known being Leviathan and the most powerful. Leviathan is the sea demon, Behemoth was the land demon and a large entity who looks like a cross between an elephant, rhinoceros, and a hippopotamus, with maybe even a bit of buffalo thrown in. And then there was the even lesser known Zeeds, an air creature that could block out the sun with its wingspan and was most commonly given the appearance of a winged griffin creature. Up next is Senelian. This is the demon of hate. He thrives on people hating each other and malicious revenge. He will destroy anything positive and cause anything hate-related and certainly promote it. If you have committed fraud, then you could well be having Pythias on your case. He is classified as one of the vilest demons from hell. Even though he is a commander and one of the princes of hell, he's definitely still a hands-on type of demon. He will gain great personal pleasure by torturing all the fraudsters in hell with unimaginable, unbearable torture techniques. He also down in hell likes to eat up any sinner he may come across if he's hungry. This demon is a true demon from hell. She is called Abizu and is a horrid female demon that specializes in miscarriages and is riddled with envy. Our next demon wants your soul. His name is Renov and he carries a bit of weight in the hell department as he is a great earl of hell. He's a little monster looking creature that carries a staff like stick. Once you're knocking on death's door and are near death, he will come to the surface of earth and collect your soul if you're destined for an eternity of hell. He is so much of a soul scavenger, he even takes animal souls too. Here we have Lady Midday. She is a demon from folklore and is very well known in Slavic speaking countries. She gets her name from appearing in the field around midday where people are working. It's because of her that workers who operate in the fields take a break around the midday times if Lady Midday appears, usually as a young-looking lady or an old hag, but always in white, she will ask the workers questions. The workers like to have a clear head, because if the workers get the questions wrong, well, then she'll simply just cut off your head, because she can. The next demon is known as the Red Death. His name is Merahem. When the war between heaven and the now fallen angels was taking place, he upset the Grim Reaper, who ended his existence on heaven. He was then cursed and went mad. He ended up becoming one of the princes of hell and has a heavy involvement of being a demon of violence, even suicides in some cases, but mostly violence. Belial is massive in the demon world, so big that he is said to be next to Lucifer at one stage, also having control over 80 legions. He is the demon of lies, described as the real lord of all evils. He can be so evil that there were reports of him being Lucifer's father, and it was him who tempted Lucifer to start the rebellion. 